Did you know that half of all men over 60 wake up at night to pee? Many of them find it frustrating, but most don't do anything about it. Why? Because they don't realize that this is not normal. If you need a reason to pay attention to this video, here it is. Peeing at night is killing your erections. Why is that happening? And more importantly, what can you do about it? Let's find out. I'll tell you right away, it's not about taking vitamins. My name is Dr. Stefan Buntrock and I'm a board certified urologist and specialist in sexual health. Waking up at night to pee is called nocturia. Now, there are two common reasons why this may happen. Either your bladder is full or you feel the urge to go even when it's not. And here's a bonus one. Your bladder fills up but doesn't empty completely so you have to go again soon after. Let's start with the easy solutions. Here's a life hack for you. If your fluid intake is high, your bladder will fill up. Fluids aren't just water. You're also getting them from coffee and other drinks. And don't forget, there's also fluid in the food we eat. If your fruit intake is high, it can increase your fluid intake quite dramatically, even if you don't drink that much. I have a lot of patients who forget to drink throughout the day and start in the evening hours. This will trigger visits to the bathroom at night. Especially in aging individuals, a hormone in the brain is produced less. This hormone is called ADH. It is released at night and reduces urine production. So the first step is to keep avoiding diary. It will tell you the total volume of urine at night and fluid intake. It provides insights into a possible deficiency of ADH. If so, it can be substituted as a tablet. But most of the time, reducing fluid intake in the evening hours will work wonders. When it comes to substantial urine production at night, we must not forget the heart. Any insufficiency of cardiac function may compromise renal blood flow. Less blood running through the kidneys will result in less urine during the day. Excess fluid will follow gravity and can be found in the legs. Swollen ankles and legs may be a typical sign for a heart problem. At night, when you're lying down, your heart can finally pump that excess fluid through your kidneys. This will result in full bladders at night. This means swollen ankles could be a warning sign of heart problems. If you experience this, please make a doctor's appointment. Now, here's where it gets even more interesting. What does all of this have to do with your erections? Before we move to this intriguing connection, please take a moment to subscribe to Euro channel and like this video. A video is like a talk in the real world and liking and subscribing equals digital applause. It doesn't cost you anything. It is a polite gesture and it signals your appreciation for my work here on YouTube. Thank you everyone who already is a subscriber or even a member. Yes, I also have memberships where you can support me if you are a super fan. Before we move on to erections, let's have a quick look at urgency without volume. Sounds strange, doesn't it? You wake up because of a strong urge and almost nothing comes out. I can assure you this is a frequent complaint. It may have to do with an enlarged prostate. Frequently, benign prosthetic enlargement is linked to a number of symptoms we call LUTs, lower urinary tract symptoms. Nocturia is one of these LUTs. What a urologist does in these cases is check for prostate volume and residual urine, because if the bladder doesn't empty completely, frequent urination will be the consequence. Last but not least, we must not forget other causes and conditions. Disturbance of sleep in general may be a problem. So you wake up not because of urinary urgency, but because of sleep disturbance that may be due to depression, for example. You can't get back to sleep, so you go to the bathroom. But there are other common diseases we have to take into account as well. Diabetes is very common. Characteristic symptoms include urinary urgency and increased urine production because of the increased fluid intake associated with the disease. Sleep apnea happens incredibly often, especially in obese men over 50. Now it gets interesting. Science has shown a strong link between disturbances of nighttime sleep 
and erectile dysfunction. During REM sleep, men have nighttime erections. We need those for proper penile function. Without them, the smooth muscle of the cavernous bodies would lose function. But nighttime peeing interferes with nighttime erections. On the long run, this may result in erectile dysfunction. Waking up at night likewise disturbs testosterone production. During the early morning hours, the brain releases a hormone that stimulates the testicles to produce testosterone. If you constantly wake up at night, the brain gets confused. It no longer knows when it is day and when it is night. So you produce less testosterone. This may also have a slight effect on erectile function. LUTS itself is linked to weak erections. We haven't quite figured out why, but personally I think it has to do with a link to pelvic floor function. Bladder irritation and nighttime awakenings can irritate pelvic nerves and raise stress hormone levels. This may cause the sympathetic nervous system to be activated permanently. The sympathetic nervous system belongs to the so-called autonomous nervous system. It is the activating part. Its counterpart is called the parasympathetic nervous system. Here's the catch. For erections, you need the parasympathetic nervous system. So here is what you can do if you suffer from nocturia. Don't take it lightly. While it may be normal to go once per night after the age of 60, going two or more times is not. Nocturia can be a warning sign. So you need a medical evaluation for this. But apart from that, I recommend the Roman way of life. Yes, I am talking about the antiques. The Romans had one principle, everything in moderation. Try to find balance in your life. Watch what you eat, keep your weight, get a good night's sleep, don't smoke, don't drink alcohol before you go to sleep. Did you know that the Romans always diluted their wine with water? They considered it barbaric to drink it undiluted. So bottom line is that the prostate may be involved in nocturia, but a lot of other things can too. Nocturia is complex stuff as it may be rooted in neurourology. Vitamins won't fix this unless you actually have a deficiency, which is rare these days. If you eat healthy, you get all the vitamins you need from your diet. But how should you eat? Want to know exactly what to eat for a healthy prostate and strong erections? Click here for my next video. It's all inside. See you there. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.